Hello and welcome back to the channel. My name is Remy and thank you for joining me on today's journey into the metaverse. This is part two in my Star Atlas series. Today we're going to be covering ships and resources and the staking feature currently within Star Atlas. I will be announcing the winner of last week's giveaway at the end of the video, so make sure you stick around for that. There are quite a few ships currently available in Star Atlas, and they vary from size to size. So we have the small ships, which are around $15 to $1,200, and are fun for solo and duo space trekking, but not necessarily if you're in a massive fleet, right? But then we go up to medium and large ships, $1,500 to $9,000. They're for the spacefaring captains ready to command their first set of diverse crew members. Medium and large vessels dominate their intended role functions. So we have transports, we have fighters, we have salvage, we have data runners, tow holders. There's a bunch of different classes of ships because there's going to be so many different use cases within the Star Atlas metaverse. Then we go up to the capital vehicles, which are 25 to 30K. Now these are deep space missions and expanding for the reach of civilization. So these are the ones that are just not going to want to mess with them, right? You're just not going to want to mess with them. And then we have the commander ships. And boy, oh boy. I mean, look at that art. That literally looks like a ship built within an asteroid. That looks crazy. But these are around 80000 to $100,000. Yes, you heard that right. There's currently only two, the Fimble BYO's tank ship and the Tufa Spirit. Essentially, if you just want to dominate Star Atlas, grab one of these. And then there's going to be Titan ships. And these Titan ships will be put up for auction and up to the community to decide what's a fair price to pay for them. There's definitely a wide variety of different ships in Star Atlas. If you go to Star Atlas and go to the marketplace, under the ship section, you'll see all the ships currently available for purchase. Down at the bottom, we have our extra smalls, and then they increase in price and increase in rarity as you go up. So let's take a look. Here's the Pierce X4. This was a $20 entry price. And right here, you can see how many people can crew it. So one pilot, so it's a one person bike, it's an extra, extra small, and it is a fighter, right? So this this is the purpose of fighting. We have all the different components in it, and so components are going to be replaceable and obviously upgradable, so you can do certain customizations to the Pierce X4. But if we go back and check out another entry price, the Opal Jet, see how this one is a racer and not necessarily a fighter. So this one's just for travel and getting around. It could still only hold one pilot. And again, the components and modules are all listed and they're customizable eventually. But those are the starter ships. Let's take a look at an anomaly ship. Crew, one captain, one commander, four pilots, eight co-pilots, six scanners, 10 turret gunners, four engineers, four repair engineers, two hangar foremen, six rescue, and one tractor beam operator. If you're a solo player, you're not gonna wanna buy this ship because look how many people you need to operate it. I mean, look at just all the components and modules. There's so much to customize and so much to track and maintain while operating this vessel. So that's where DAX come in, groups of players and big entities all working together towards a common objective. But yeah, man, $100,000 origination price. But if we go check, there's not even any for sale. So this is just a primary market. And if you go to trade, you could see there will be sell orders if people are trying to sell. And these are the buy orders of what people are willing to purchase the ships for. So for instance, if we go to the Opal Jet Jet, which is a racer, and I go to trade, I could see that people are selling this for 11,200 Atlas is the lowest one. But right now, since the market is down bad, also two DAX with substantial amount of money in the game liquidated because they things did not go their way during some events. And so they liquidated. And so right now, even though the origination price was $300 USD, this value right here for this one is $78 with Atlas's current value, right? So there's definitely some good deals on the market right now. The reason they're good deals is because you can actually stake. But before that, we need to get the resources. So each ship requires resources to run, obviously. So if you click on the resources section, you can see there's fuel, food, ammunition, and toolkits. So you're going to need all four. They're pretty cheap. If you go to trade, you can see there's an infinite supply for 0.0021504 Atlas. You can get one. I currently own 85,000 of them. You're definitely going to need resources. Obviously, with the bigger ships, the more resources they'll expend. So once you get your resources, once you get your ships, you can then go over to Faction Fleet. 
Faction Fleet is where you can stake your ships and use your resources to be actually earn Atlas token. If you just got your ships, you're going to want to go over to your inventory. They will show up here. Make sure you claim them. When you purchase your ships, they'll show up as an item in your inventory that you actually have to claim. And then once you claim them, you can go over to Faction Fleet and ship enlistment. And right here, I do not personally have any ships that are not enlisted, but if you were to purchase a ship, you would see your ships right here. And all you have to do is enlist them in a fleet. And once they're in the fleet, they're mining Atlas for you. From 11 Fimble air bikes, I'm currently getting eight Atlas token. So nothing too crazy, obviously, since Atlas is very low value, but think about it. We're in a dip down bear market. Value of out, the game's not even out yet. I'm sure the value of Atlas will probably go up. Make sure you're always coming back and checking because you do need to manage your fleet. And right here, you could see all the statistics. I have to resupply all my resources. So I just click resupply all and approve the transaction and bam. So if you're interested in the more statistics side, this website, I'll link it down below. It shows you actually the market, current market price of each ship, your daily rewards for each ship, your daily burn, so in resources for each ship, your daily net yield, which is essentially your rewards minus your resource costs, your net yield. Right now, these average per year rates, if we list them high to low, you could be earning some insane yields right now. Just because these DAX that liquidated all of their ships listed them for so below floor that the yields, the staking rewards are based on the initial offering price and not the secondary market price, right? So if you snag a bunch of ones below the floor, you're obviously earning way higher APR. And then you also have your resupply period where you have to manage your resources and you know refuel your ships depending on the size of your ship. So for instance, here, if we go to the extra, extra small ships, you could be earning 30 nine percent apr on these fimble air bikes because there's so many for so cheap that's it for part two of this video the winner of last week's giveaway and who will receive a nanobyte pierce x4 skin is a loma 08 congratulations uh make sure you go check the last video that you commented on i replied to your comment and we'll get you sorted with that nanobyte i'm also giving away another one of these in this video all you have to do is like and subscribe, ring the notification bell and comment down below and you'll automatically be entered for a Nanobyte Pierce X4 skin giveaway. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I really do like Star Alice and I will be continuing this series for quite some time. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.